Hi, I'm Natalie, also known as the Liquid Muse. I discover and share drinking culture trends from around the world. Come take a peek at the pages of my little black book. Have you ever wanted to throw your own cocktail party? Well then get your butt down to Barkeeper in Silver Lake because this is the store where you should begin. This is Joe Keeper. And I'm so intrigued, Joe, what inspired you to start this kind of uber cool vintage barware store? Well, Natalie, I am a big fan of tradition and ritual. And to me, that's what cocktail is all about. Having that special moment, having that special cocktail. That was the genesis of Barkeeper. Um, the semantics of it was I read an article in the Wall Street Journal about um, the coming of age of young people currently missing out on the whole cocktail resurgence of even the film Swingers, which you know was filmed just right around the corner from here. And I've lived in the neighborhood for a while, and I thought, tradition, ritual, cocktails, Silver Lake, it all comes together in Barkeeper. Well, I couldn't have said that better myself. And one of the things I think is so cool about Barkeeper is your amazing collection of vintage yeah. barware. Can we take a look at some of that? Oh, absolutely. Come on. So, Natalie, check these out. This is a really fine giant set, which is kind of rare, but uh, a full set um, from the 1960s. And what's nice about these big collections is people often use three or four normally. See how this one's just perfect? It's never been in a dishwasher. Um, yeah, they're just beautiful sets. And super cool is this. Are these the actual matching yeah. napkins from the 1960s? Exactly Are correct. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm thinking this would be like the perfect wedding present oh, yeah. for somebody. Absolutely. And you'll remember when you're giving a gift, it, it needs to reflect you as much as the gift so that when your friends sit down and have their beautiful cocktails and these beautiful glasses, they think, oh, hey, Natalie gave these to me. I mean, that is the gift right there. It's one of the coolest things about Barkeeper. You're buying a little piece of history. Oh, yeah. And at the same time, you're upping everybody's cool quotient. Joe, you have such a gorgeous selection of shakers, mm -hmm. but I'm especially intrigued with some of these interesting shaped ones. What can you tell us about them? When we had prohibition in America, it was verboten to have your bar tools on display. So what uh, the shaker manufacturers began doing is turning them into pieces of art. So for instance, this is actually a shaker and a measure. Let's check this one out, Natalie. This one is really cool. Wow. You see, it looks like a Hindenburg. That's amazing. Yeah, so they came in all shapes, all sizes. Now let's talk about jiggers, because when we are making a drink, we have to measure the liquids that we're putting into the shaker. Exactly. Um, these are two typical kinds of jiggers, um, and the idea of this shape, which you'll see at your neighborhood bar, is it's two levels of measurement, one on this side and then a different volume on this side. But most people have a measuring cup, something like this at home. It has the gradations inside it, and it has a little pour spout. That's really cool. I've never yeah. seen one of these. Now let's talk about muddlers. Mm -hmm. I use muddlers often in my do-it-yourself cocktail videos, and you have quite a selection mm -hmm. here. Yeah, there's all different shapes and kinds of muddlers. Mm -hmm. um, what's interesting about these is a few things. One is most people use their muddler like this, thinking this is the press. But truthfully, most glasses are rounded on the inside, so you can use it this way and actually work your way into the corner with you know, in your vodka and your mint and, and mushing it all together. Now that we've covered a few basics, yeah. let's have a special treat and take a peek for the absinthe curious. You bet. You may have heard that after nearly a century, absinthe is legal again. They've mm -hmm. determined it's not quite as toxic and crazy making as they once thought it was. So Joe has some beautiful absinthe fountains and we've set up an absinthe glass here for you with a little bit of absinthe in it, an absinthe spoon, which mm -hmm. is a slat spoon, and then we add a sugar cube. Pour a little bit of water into the absinthe fountain, and the water drips on the sugar cube, dissolves it, which then melts into the glass, and the absinthe luches, or it turns like a cloudy color. It has so much notoriety and so much historical merit that people want to try it, but they don't know how, and these tools are very unique. So. Oh, they're, and they're, they're like works of art. Oh. I mean, what a great thing for your cocktail party. So when you're ready to throw a cocktail party, no matter what kind of drinks you want to serve, Come down to Barkeeper because Joe here has everything possible that you could serve them in and all served up with a healthy dose of history and instruction. So thank you Joe oh, no. so much thank you, for Natalie. today. You bet. And hope to see you at Barkeeper soon. Cheers.